own words, which he's given to me, I'm going to uh, kind of give his acceptance speech, if you will. Because uh, all kidding aside, as you know, Jim is one of the most outgoing, gregarious people you'll meet. Just a wonderful person at the racetrack, a friend to us all. But uh, Jim is not one for standing up in front of a crowd and talking about himself. So he asked me to say a few words on his behalf, which I'll be proud to do. But first of all, uh, a little bit about Jim's background. Most certainly, ladies and gentlemen, Jim has served our sport with distinction and integrity for the better part of 25 years. Entered racing photography. You know, now he's, he's truly is considered a professional in the sport. But Jim actually entered our sport just as an amateur. But he's honed his skills to become an award-winning member of the area auto racing news staff. He is also on the Saturday night photo team with Ace Lane, Ed Malik, Bill Van Pelt, several others at Wall Stadium each week. Jim also covers national events for Area Auto Racing News at Pocono. That's the NASCAR and ARCA weekends. He covers the ARCA and Grand Am Series races at New Jersey Motorsports Park. And indeed, he has a very impressive background in national level racing. As a staff photographer for many years through the 1990s with the NASCAR Winston Cup scene newspaper and many other national publications as well. And with that in mind, Several years ago, Jim was honored as a recipient of the Ace Lane Senior Memorial Award for Excellence in Photography, which was presented by the Eastern Motorsport Press Association. And importantly, ladies and gentlemen, Jim Smith has a wonderful, deep appreciation of racing history. And now in Jim's own words, I'm going to give you a little background of how he got involved in racing and what's brought him to this place today. Jim actually grew up watching and listening to racing whenever he could. Became a fan that way, as many of us did. Then went into the Air Force. And his first actual racing photography, if you will, came when he helped out and photographed different events at drag strips. And Jim continued with drag racing when he got out of the service. And he, then he started taking trips to NASCAR events. But at that time, Jim was still a fan. He was kind of enthralled with photography, really appreciated, but he uh, just shot pictures from the grandstand. But then Jim said a few of his friends started pushing him to send photos into Winston Cup scene, which at the time was the premier Winston Cup, NASCAR Winston Cup publication in the country. So Jim says, after about six months, I was asked what it would cost to send some to Charlotte. That was the headquarters of the paper. And he was told, well, just a stamp. Just put a stamp on an envelope and send down the pictures. So that's what Jim did. He sent in six four-by-six photos at NASCAR events and a handwritten letter, that was before email, to see uh, if he could get published. And he, he said he did it just to get them off my back, right? Just to get the friends off your back. Well, three days later, this is when Jim's career really got going, he got a phone call from Cindy Elliott, and Sidney was the editor, chief editor, at the time of Winston Cup scene, and, or the photo editor. And she told Jim, well, she could not use those particular photos, but liked them enough and asked if he would like to start shooting for them in 1987. And Jim's first race for Winston Cup scene was at Pocono. And then from there, he went to Dover, to New Hampshire, Watkins Glen, and Charlotte. And he was on his way. But in 1991, and I well remember this because this is when my wife Pam and I first met Jim. This is when Jim actually was sidelined for several years due to illness and surgeries. And it really uh, put him on the sidelines, both not just with racing, but with life and his professional career away from racing. But Jim always had that dream, that ambition of racing photography. And in 1992, he had gotten a call from Dean Nardi, the publisher of Trackside Magazine, who asked Jim if he could take some photographs at Wall Stadium. Uh, Jeff Gravatt, who is, of course, a member of our organization, and he's the PR director of Wall, uh, then and now, 
Jeff was doing a series of stories about Wall Stadium and its drivers, and Trackside Magazine needed some photos to accompany the story, so they asked Jim if he could help out. And Jim said, sure, I'll do that. And they started shooting for Trackside Magazine, which led to shooting pictures for the Program Dynamics World Review Program, then Area Auto Racing News, and also Circle Track Magazine. And all the time, Jim has made thousands and thousands of dollars at this, right? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of zeros, okay. Most importantly, and this is really, this is from Jim's heart, ladies and gentlemen. This journey has brought me great friends. I think that's what it's all about. And I know your friends are here at it. You guys agree? Ladies and gentlemen, great friends indeed. That's what Jim is. Through the years, he's worked with us here at the Garden State Vintage Stock Car Club. He's been part of the Old Bridge Stadium Weekend Reunion. He's worked with the Wall Police Department for their coaster derbies. He's also been a volunteer photographer on Sunday afternoons for the Quarter Midgets at Wall Stadium, also for the Wall Sunday Series. You've got a lot of shots of Nick and Toad over there, right? Absolutely. Worked closely with the ATQR Murray and also has worked extensively with Kevin Ayers and the staff for the Matheny School Benefit. At this time, Jim would certainly like to thank everyone at the Garden State Vintage Stock Car Club and every one of his friends and associates on what has been a very wonderful journey that continues today. And we'd also like to welcome Jim's mom and sister who are here joining him for this very special occasion. Folks, welcome to you. And now, Mr. Smith, I know you don't want to, but you have to say at least a few words. So come on out of Jim Smith, everybody. Let's give a big round of applause. Jim, take as much time as you want here. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody again um, just for being here, all the recipients uh, tonight. And uh, it's just been a huge honor for this award. And I uh, just want to thank everybody. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Smith, our newest inductee into the Garden State Vintage Stock Car Club Hall of Fame.